I'm in Shenandoah National Park and this is a follow-up hike to my hike from uh, last week. This is Spitler Knoll Overlook. There's my little red car. And last week I hiked north on the Appalachian Trail up to the Rock Spring Cabins. Uh, I'm back here this uh, hike to, I'm also going north on the AT, but I'm going to short uh, turn off very shortly and look for an old uh, driveway that was up here that went up to a ranch house owned by a Bernard Spitler. So I'm going to, I'm going to follow the road up and the old driveway and, uh, bushwhack my way to a set of coordinates where the house used to be. I found the house location by looking on a map from 1929. So we'll see what we can find. I'm not expecting to find uh, anything, but uh, I want to hike to the location uh, just the same, just to look around. The elevation here is 3,300 feet. Two tenths of a mile into my hike. I'm hiking northbound on the Appalachian Trail. And uh, I'm at a spot now where I first saw the old the old road slash driveway. If you look if you look to the right, that's the Appalachian Trail. And if you look to the left, that's the uh, trace of the old road. So I'm gonna start following that here in a minute, but first I'm gonna turn around. And follow and and back and follow it back this way just a little ways to see if I can uh, follow it back to Skyline Drive or not. Okay, well that's where I came from, following the uh, trace of the old driveway, and I followed it back towards my car, back to back to this point. Maybe you can see Skyline Drive, the grading of Skyline Drive there, just a hundred feet away or so. And uh, Spitler Knoll overlooks straight ahead up there. So <clears throat> when, <coughs> excuse me, when you get close to Skyline Drive, all the grading and, and road work they did has obliterated the rest of it. But it starts about here and then it heads up the mountain this way. So now I'm going to turn around and go back and cross over the AT and follow it on up the side of the mountain a ways. Okay, I'm back to the Appalachian Trail. There it is heading northbound up the side of the mountain. So let's just continue on with the uh, with the old road here, the driveway, and let's see if we can get up to where the old ranch house used to be. Six tenths of a mile into my hike, I'm up to 34.10. And uh, I'm crossing the Appalachian Trail again. There's a white blaze. The AT is uh, blazed white. There's one of the blazings. Here's the AT heading up the side of the mountain to the north. And uh, any, uh, I'm gonna could just continue on up the, uh, the old road, up to a set of coordinates. And then we're going to turn to the right and head to another set of coordinates that's where the old homestead used to be, maybe.
six tenths of a mile into my hike. I'm up to 34.65. There's a buck standing over there, not too far from me. Maybe you can see him moving around over there. Anyway, I'm up to <clears throat> I'm up to another waypoint. So now I'm going to. This is where it came from. Down side of the mountain, down that way. So now I'm up to here, and in accordance with the map, this road looks like it's starting to turn to the right towards the east, like it should. So I'm going to follow it to the east now to a set of coordinates where the old homestead used to be, maybe. Seven tenths of a mile into my hike. The elevation here is 3450. And I'm standing on the service road to uh, that I hiked on last week. That's that's the service road heading down towards Skyline Drive. And there's the service road heading up to the Rock Spring cabins. That this road here it was not it didn't exist back in the 1920s. And it, that's where I came from, hiking the old driveway. And if you look down through there, you'll notice that there's no big trees in the way. See over here, you got trees everywhere. Over here, you got trees everywhere. But look at that. That's where I came from. There's a lot of rub debris and stuff laying in the road, but uh, you can see it's pretty clear. So I'm going to cross the road, and I'm going to try to continue following it this way. Another about 300 feet, maybe, the length of a football field. And we'll see, we'll see if we can find anything where the old homestead was. I'm standing near the area where the old homestead was, which is a little bit uh, north of here, but this is the view that you would have. You, so you can imagine looking at the mountains from up here, no trees in the way. Be beautiful up here. I'm going to turn around and head up here a little closer to the exact spot and just look around. So here's some kind of humongous tree standing dead. And right next to that is this, it doesn't look like much, but it's a man-made pile of rocks. So maybe somebody piled these rocks up here. They're covered over with leaves and stuff now. But it's possible somebody put that pile of rocks there just to mark the spot. Here, I'll, I'll do a 360. That's looking to the south. And this is a nice area up here. This is really flat. Nice and flat. There's that huge tree. That's looking to the north. Now, uh, you know, 50 yards to the north, it starts to slope uphill again. Pretty nice spot. I'll look around a little more, and then I'm going to head down closer to Skyline Drive and look for the spot where I think the old barn might have been.
Okay, I'm standing where I think the second building was, possibly the barn, because this is further away. This is south of the driveway. The house is up that way north of the driveway, and I'm within about 65 feet of the 1929 location. And let's face it, those old maps aren't, aren't but so accurate anyway. So that's a pretty interesting pile of rocks there. There's something sticking out of the ground over there. I'll check that out. It looks like a wash pan, wash pan over there. Air's looking, air's looking south at the mountains again. Skyline drives down the hill there. Nice flat area here. Another big rock pile there. Uh, the service roads right up there a little ways, a couple of hundred feet. Here's another rock pile here. That may or may not be a pile of rocks. I'll have to look at that. And then there's this big pile here. So some pretty interesting stuff right here. So the reason I think this is the barn is this this was the barn is the land records say there was a house or a ranch house and a barn. But it would make sense to me that the driveway is closer to the other structure. So it makes sense to me that the driveway would go to the house. And then, you know, the barn could be farther away, like here. Okay, well, I've wandered around quite a bit. Found, found a few uh, metal artifacts that I took pictures of and left in place so as not to disturb a national park. So now I'm back on the service road and I'm gonna hike this down to Skyline Drive and complete my loop, same as last week. This is a map of today's hike. The quadrangle name is Stony Man 1929. I had to go back to a very early map like 1929 in order to see what I was looking for which is an old driveway and a homestead that existed up here on top of the mountain before uh, Shenandoah National Park was formed. The scale of these maps is different uh, than the ones I usually show you. The scale here is 60, 1 inch equals 62,500 inches. Um, nor normally the maps that I show are more like 24,000. Now, there's, there's some odd things about this map because this is 1929. I don't think Shenandoah Park was actually formed until 19, 
in the mid 1930s, but yet it sh it shows this red line here is Skyline Drive coming down from the north like this. And right here at this bend is Spitler Knoll Overlook. And what I was interested in is this dotted line that you see here, which is basically a driveway that starts here and works its way more or less in a straight line up, up the mountain to this elevation here. And then it makes a right-hand turn and comes over this way. And then you'll notice there's two black marks here, one here and one here. One of these, I think this one, was the, was the house. And this one that's further away from the driveway would, would have been the barn. And this white area here would be open area. This, this ranch was used for grazing uh, be, uh, beef cattle in the uh, spring and the summer and in, in the fall. So this area here, which is a fairly large area, would have been is white because it would have been uh, clear of trees. So basically what I did was I parked here at Spitler Knoll Overlook. The Appalachian Trail is not shown on this old map, <clears throat> but I got on the Appalachian Trail and I followed it up this like this just a little ways until it crossed, crosses the, the trace of the driveway, looked for the trace of the driveway, and then I followed it back down this way as far as I could. Then I turned around and went up this way and followed it up the side of the mountain until I got to here and then turned right and slightly downhill to here. And then I wandered around this area looking for any evidence of the, of the old house and then I came down here and wandered around here and looked for evidence of the uh, of the barn. So I was interested in this. This was uh, the ranch that was owned by Bernard Spitler, which is one of my distant relatives from Luray, Virginia. And uh, the Spitlers and everybody else that lived up here on the mountain, several hundred families, lost all of their land to eminent domain in order to create the Shenandoah National Park. It was a very short hike, 1.6 miles and 229 feet of ascent. And that was the hike for today.